All right, so we are back here in Supermarket Simulator. Now, we're going to go into my store, and you're probably going to be like, Komodo, my goodness, what happened to your stock? Well, I'm purposely letting them take stuff off shelves. Now, I can pull the stuff off the shelves manually, uh, but you might as well make some money while you're doing it. So I'm going to allow them to clear some of these shelves off because I've got major plans here today. I've been playing quite a bit off camera. I'm up to level 25, so we're going to get some new products here finally. Uh, we're going to expand out some shelves here, and I want to completely fill this thing up. Uh, so yeah, buy all my products. I don't feel like taking this stuff off manually. Let's go and turn on the light over here. Uh, oh, speaking of lights, uh, I've already got a couple more of these. We need to go ahead and install, uh, which by the way, you guys can install the thumbs up button. I don't know where this segue is going, but you know what? Hit the thumbs up button for more Supermarket Simulator. So yeah, the plan today is to finally get new products. Now, we're probably going to shut down for a little bit uh, when I do like a grand restocking. I've paid back one of my loans, so I think I could take out another $5,000 loan, which will get us up to $9,000, which we're going to need a lot of money here today. I don't know if we're going to expand the store. Like, we have a whole corner here that I get to use, uh, but check this out. So when you go to management, look at the product license. So I've got several I could play with here. Uh, we got one that has like a lot of sushi, which I really like that one. I think we're gonna use that one. And then the one to the left uh, is like brown sugar. Uh, you've got, I guess, a different egg type, another different type of bottled water, and light roast coffee. So I feel like these two licenses here are the ones that we need to get. Uh, and then eventually we'll move on to some other ones. Uh, the beer one comes up at level 30. We're quite a ways away from that. We're gonna need a lot of uh, uh, more refrigerator storage if we're gonna do that. But yeah. Uh, let them buy some of these products. Let's get some of this off the shelf. I could stock stuff where I think I'm going to keep it. Like the cereals, I think they're going to stay right here. Uh, but there's a couple things I want to move around. And then I think we're going to expand the refrigeration section, which I'm pretty sure uh, the sushi and all that's going to need those. Which, by the way, for people that play the game, a lot of people might be noting that there was an upgrade for the storage area. Uh, there was a patch. So at the time of playing it, a patch came out, I think, this morning that expanded this or gave you an option for an upgrade but i think it kind of broke the game because it took everything off everybody's shelf so luckily i didn't start the game up uh, when that happened the dev has come out and said they reverted it and they're working on fixing the bug so hopefully next uh, episode we'll be able to buy a bigger storeroom all right everybody get the heck out of here uh, you guys are wasting my time well actually technically you're not wasting my time because i'm making money uh, but i got things i want to do when we close down this store I am now actively pulling like product off shelves. Actually, I think we're gonna leave the oils here. Let's go ahead and stock that up. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna try to shift drinks over to the left side. Uh, it says we can finish the day. I guess cheese is probably fine here in the middle. Let's go ahead and stock this up. Uh, you guys have been awesome in the comment section. Like, I love comment section on simulator games. I mean, some of it is going, Komodo, why are you not doing, you know, X, Y, Z? But most of it is like super helpful stuff. Uh, so yeah, keep commenting down below. Uh, let's go ahead and pull this pasta up here. I think I'm going to shift the pasta over. Do I have any more empty boxes? You know, I actually think I need to save uh, some of my empty boxes. I know a lot of people are like, Komodo, why don't you like restock stuff in boxes? And I was like, I know how to do it. I just I kind of like don't do it half the time. Uh, let's see, that's nice and empty there. Okay, so we're going to shift this shelf. Do I want to move it over a little bit? You know, I got a third cashier area. I, I don't think I get the third employee until level 30. I mean, but I could work it if I wanted to stick another one up. Oh, that's our last customer. All right, so we're at $5,000 here. So if I take out the loan, which I'm going to wait till tomorrow to take it out, uh, that should be close to $10,000, but we're already going to spend it here. So there we go. We got new products finally in the grocery store. All right, let's get to the next day. By the way, there was two loans that I could take out, so I've taken both of them out. All right, let's get on here, and you know what? Uh, let's see, how many more of these do, can we fit? All right, I'm going to do the two, so one, two, uh, maybe three more of these uh, two-style refrigeration shelves, and then we'll put some more normal shelves in the back. Okay, that is $1,500 worth of shelves there. Oh, my goodness. All right, they've all popped in. Let's go ahead and see if this fills out the store real quick, which, by the way, something that made me, like, super happy to hear is that a lot of people are buying the game because they found, like, my Let's Play series on it. I mean, a lot of people naturally discovered the game on Steam, but... My goodness, I checked the amount of people that are playing this game. And this is as of recording on a Sunday morning. And there was 35,000 people playing this. So yeah, to put that in perspective, like there's more people playing this than a lot of AAA games. It kind of tells you that, <laughs> man, indie games, they got it. They got what's going on right now. Like they, they understand the audience 
It's pretty bad that, you know, you got smaller games like this that are way more satisfying to play than a lot of AAA titles. So uh, definitely bravo to the dev. Uh, you love to see it. Okay, let's look at some of these new products, why don't we? Did they stick them all at the bottom, or where are they grouped at? I'm curious, what does the sushi look like? Alright, so I see new cheese, coffee, light roast. I actually like the way that looks. Uh, you got salmon. Uh, a lot of these are fridge items. There are some... Ooh, we got green tea. That's a uh, shelf item. Nothing for the freezer, so I don't think I have to worry about any of that. Uh, let's make a huge order here, though. Uh, we got veal chops. Oh, those are expensive. Those should be worth a lot of money. Uh, so we're gonna have somewhat like a meat section finally. Look at the steaks. Uh, let's order quite a few steaks here. Uh, let's fill this bad boy up. By the way, not gonna lie, all this stuff is like pretty expensive. So uh, I'm gonna have to be careful what I buy here. Oh, we got pasta elbows now too. And then there's the brown sugar. Uh, I do agree. I, I hope soon we'll be able to order more than 10 items at once because I have to pretty much spam this a lot when I'm ordering items. My goodness, uh, we might not have enough here. Uh, I need more money. Uh, well, I'm gonna do my best to fill up the shelf with the money that I have right now. I kind of underestimated, I think, how much this was all gonna cost. But you know what? We're gonna be open today. We're gonna make money. It's gonna be fine. All right, we should have a buttload of stuff. Oh my goodness, there's so much stuff out here. Okay, let's start stocking here. I'm gonna try to start organizing certain things too. You know, like maybe getting all this cake. Uh, <laughs> Out of the uh, the cleaning section. Yeah, don't worry. We'll, we'll fix that, folks. It's going to be fine. Hey, okay, what is this? This is... I can't even tell what this... Oh, it's like frozen. Looks like... Are those... Oh, I can't tell. It's like in a different language. They look like scallops. Are those scallops? Uh, all right, so we kind of need like a food section. So, so I think the meat's going to be down to the right here and like the fish and sushi. Uh, so we're going to start sticking this down here. I'm not going to set pricing yet on any of this. But my goodness, it is so lovely seeing new products here. We just got to really stack these up. I feel like these are going to be hot sellers here uh, in the store. Also, I love how we just piled up boxes out here. It's like there's meat in some of these boxes. Like, look, this is steak. By the way, this looks like a uh, sirloin, maybe like a like a top steak. Doesn't look like a, a ribeye and or New York strip. Uh, hopefully that's a thing in the future. Uh, my goodness, we just piled all the steaks up in there. Those are expensive, by the way. Those are going to sell for a lot of money. All right, so coffee. I typically keep my coffee by the teas. Uh, so we'll do two shelves of black, two shelves of this new light roast here. Uh, I like the uh, the different colors of the bags there. It's kind of satisfying. You got like the really dark, dark roast bag, and then the light roast bag is a much lighter color. And this is a, a veal chop, by the way. Uh, I don't think I've ever had one of those. I guess we'll stick this... Uh, we'll stick it below the steak. I'm going to fill up two more shelves of steak, so we'll put these down here. I don't know if I've actually run into the sushi yet. What is this? This looks like lasagna. kind of looks like lasagna. I'm not sure what this is either. Uh, we ordered a bunch of things where I was like, yeah, yeah, just put this on the shelf. This is fine. Uh, you know what? We'll go ahead and stack these up. Should be enough for two shelves in here. We got brown sugar. So I think I'm going to move the brown sugar here by the cereal. I'm going to get a box for the pasta. Pastas and rice are going to be on this left shelf here. Right shelf is going to be cereals. Uh, so we'll have like your brown sugars, your powdered sugars. And then I think there's another style of uh, sugar that we could put on the shelves in there. Oh, dude, look at this. This is the sushi. This actually looks really good. Uh, those are big platters. Uh, so is that three per shelf? Oh, it's four. Uh, not bad. All right, let's set that over there. Uh, I'd like to do nothing but sushi and maybe one of these. Oh, this is another egg. By the way, there's a six pack of eggs. There's a 12 pack now, and I have a four count. Uh, we'll have just one fridge dedicated to eggs here. There we go. So, are you guys proud of me for someone organizing the store? By the way, that's the uh, the new elbows that'll go in the pasta section and rice section. Like, we kind of did a remodel last episode, which is more like a... It was a remodel slash stock everything and take out a lot of loans. That's kind of the cycle, you know. You take out loans and then you buy new products, like try to fill up your store real quick. Maybe buy a couple upgrades and then just grind away and pay back the loans and then repeat the process. But not gonna lie, it is still a very, very addicting gameplay loop here. Uh, there we go, there's some more steaks on the shelf. The meat section is coming along very, very nice. Okay, here's a new item. We got green teas. I'm gonna stick these right under the black tea here. This might be two shelves worth. Uh, this is a pretty cool little uh, container. I kind of like that. Okay, we got a new cheese here. It kind of looks like cheddar, but I don't think it is. That is a really sharp looking cheese. All right, so we already have a cheese section, so we'll stick these into here. Uh, wow, there was only one box worth there. What is, is this like super expensive? 
407, I mean, that's fairly expensive. It's a little bit uh, more expensive than the other cheese that we have. I think we get away with 435 on this one. So we'll go ahead and set the price on that. I was just curious about the pricing. I uh, got more eggs here. My goodness, there's going to be so much stock in here. But it's going to be nice because, like I said, we have a variety of product. And there's one more product license that we can do uh, that we have unlocked. I don't know if I'm ready to take it on. Probably need to expand the store before that. Okay, so we have something called... Well, what is this? Oh, it's uh, salmon or salmon. Well, however you say it. I'm going to stick this right by the tuna. I feel like that is uh, fitting right there. There we go. Nice. Okay, there is a chance I have made a grave mistake. I think I bought too much of the new product and not enough of the old product. Like, I got piles of this stuff. I'm about to have to go to the storeroom and start, like, trying to grab this, or trying to cram some of this in here. A uh, bit of a mistake, but, you know, it's going to be fine. We'll get stock on everything else here uh, really soon. Uh, we're going to go ahead and probably open up. Like, I didn't want to open up until I was fully stocked. Uh, but that's not gonna be a thing. I have 18 bucks to my name, so we got to make some money uh, back here uh, Why did I order so many of these sushi? I, I feel like maybe I should go fill up another fridge at this point uh, Same with the uh, the beef here. Let's go ahead and set some prices real quick uh, Let's see. This is the veal. So that's gonna be 1587 uh, market price Let's go 17. I think we can get away with $17 there uh, you got whatever this is. It kind of looks like lasagna, but it's probably definitely something else. If anybody knows what this is, comment down below. Like, what is it? Like, is it is it good? <laughs> I mean, is it bad? Uh, same with... Okay, this is a scallop here. So I was right about that. These are actually kind of cheap. Uh, we'll go 450 on those. And then sushi platter. Ooh, 25 Yeah, we definitely need to fill up another fridge with this. Uh, I definitely think I want to do that, like, right now. Um, let's go $27. I think we can get away with that. Uh, salmon, that is ten oh eight. Let's go eleven fifty on that. Uh, try to keep it uh, somewhat even as far as the numbers. Let's see, was that it as far as new products that have stuck out so far? Oh yeah, and the uh, the new coffee. So that's ooh. Uh, I think we can go thirteen dollars on that, and we have the tea over here, the green tea. Uh, thinking about eight twenty five on that one. There we go. All right, I think we got our prices set for new products. I gotta open though. Like, we are, we're behind right now. But, we're gonna correct it. It's gonna be fine. There's gonna be some complaints. People are like, well, you don't have this product over here. Uh, but, we, trust me, we got it coming. We can just tell them it's on the truck on the way or something. So, yeah, what I'm thinking, uh, continue to put, like, the cleaning products over on one side of the store. I removed all the cake stuff, stuck it over here. The potatoes are a little bit out of place right now. There's people probably tripping over boxes. I'm gonna get sued. Uh, you're gonna have your breads, your peanut butters, honeys here. Uh, you got your coffees, your teas, oils right here. We are getting close to needing more room. So I think the next expansion, I don't know if it's going to make the store deeper or wider. I haven't quite figured that out yet. Uh, I'm kind of hoping for just deeper, like three more. Uh, but I could be wrong about that. Also, I need to reorganize my lights. Some of these are a little uneven. Uh, it's a well-lit store, though. I mean, you got to have it well-lit. That way, you know, you don't trip over all the tripping hazards that I have in the floor. Thankfully, the AI does not interact with those. But I, I have been asking you guys to, like, write, like, fake reviews for me. And I, I think probably half of them were like, yep, I walked into his store and I tripped over stuff. And I was like, oh, <laughs> oops. Uh, it, it'll be fine, though. I'm going to replace this shelf. I'm going to have, like, a dedicated sushi fridge. Uh, that stuff is just way too hot not to have, by the way. I think for some reason my fridges interact with boxes, but my customers don't. Uh, also, like I said, ignore all the complaining that you're going to see from customers right now. They're not going to be happy because uh, the store is definitely half-stocked. Uh, because Komodo was a ding-dong when it came to managing inventory. And he ordered just new products instead of, you know, all the other stuff that I need. Whoa, hold on. It says we're selling a product at... Oh, wait, this is a different style of sushi. Hold on. Hey, don't don't buy this yet. No, you stupid lady. Uh, I think she just got one for free. I didn't even realize that. Wait, so we have a bigger platter and a smaller platter. Okay. All right, well, point still stands. This is going to be a sushi fl uh, fridge. I just need to need to grab the right ones here. Well, I'll tell you what, they are immediately like going here and just pulling this stuff off the shelf. So uh, I wonder if that is a thing in the game. Like say when you get the hot new product on the shelf, like the customers are automatically attracted to that product. Like I kind of feel like that is a thing, but I, I could be completely wrong about that. But I feel like they just kind of swarm uh, when you get new product and they're just like, hey, I want to buy this thing. It's new, uh, new sushi and stuff, which by the way, I don't know how much I trust, like, store sushi like this. I typically like my sushi kind of fresh. Uh, sometimes the store thing is like, how long has this been here? 
Especially if it's raw. Uh, it kind of freaks me out just a little bit. Okay, we got more meat in. I think I'm selling these steaks at a fair price. I mean, it's 15 bucks. Steak isn't cheap these days. I can go and start getting some of these boxes out of here. I'll tell you what's funny. There's another item that is impossible to keep in stock. It's these potatoes. You can only stick two per shelf, and they get wiped out instantly. It's kind of similar to the, the toilet paper. Actually, it's really similar, because uh, toilet paper, you can only put two per shelf. And yeah, that stuff goes pretty quick. Okay, they say I'm selling another product. Oh, I didn't even check the eggs. That's my bad. Uh, let's go 725 on the eggs. Uh, looks like only a couple went off the shelf. I guess maybe when I stock a new product, I should probably adjust the price immediately. Uh, I've been pretty good about getting all the prices, but there were a couple things that I missed. But I think we're good now. Uh, everything has set prices. Uh, everybody's still complaining. It's going to be fine. Uh, we're going to make it through this. By the way, I did not realize like how quick we were gaining money. Uh, these expensive pro uh, now I kind of see how this is going to work. I feel like the the products that we're getting now, a lot of them are way more expensive, and like the customers, it's in demand. So like I just feel like we're taking home a lot more uh, each day, which is going to be good because we need to do a big stocking tomorrow. Uh, like I said, I I really screwed this one up. But I'm going to make it up to you guys. Uh, we're going to have a fully stocked store, hopefully, tomorrow. I uh, already got almost close to $2,000. That, that'll buy a ton of stock. Because a lot of the stuff that we have is cheap. I'm selling another one without price. Wait, what? Was that what we just stuck? I feel like I'm getting certain uh, frozen items, like, mixed up here. Like, was that a new frozen item? What product? Wait, who is getting something for free here? Uh, these all have prices on them. Coffee's got prices. All my noodles have prices. I haven't stuck anything else out on the shelf that's new. This is where Komodo's brain is slightly melting. I don't wonder if the game just said that. Like, none of my stuff actually doesn't have a price. Okay, just keep looking. There's something's got to not have a price on it, right? I haven't stuck anything else out new, though. There's my green teas. They have prices. Coffee's got prices. It's all got prices. Oh, brown sugar. My goodness. Of course, there's something I missed. All right. Well, uh, go ahead and put those out here, too. It's fine. Maybe we were giving out some free, you know, samples to get people to come back. We're just going to call it that. We're not going to talk about my total incompetence to not notice that there was a, something that didn't have a price on it. It's completely fine. Komodo incompetent. Have you ever seen, like, half of my series? Of course I'm incompetent. I screw everything up, but it's fine. Okay, bills are paid. It's time for a rather large order here from the market. So I'm going to kind of take guesses at certain things. Uh, I do wish maybe this screen and maybe it will in the future would maybe display more about your current stock versus what you're buying here. Uh, I feel like that would be a good idea. Of course, I think we're going to get some really good stuff here in the future as far as like information about our current store, which like I said, that's just something that I, I feel like would be a, a very, very big quality of life thing. Okay, I'm pretty sure we are about to spend all of our money here on stock because I need a little bit of everything. By the way, I thought is this the new i think we do have a new bottle of water i could have swear i saw that being unlocked i'm gonna have to the, like set it up next to the other one i think that's the only product or at least new product that we haven't ordered which i'm pretty sure i have enough of everything else i'm gonna get a little bit more sushi actually i don't even know if i can afford this man that sushi is so expensive uh it's fine we'll cut that down all right so i spent all the money that we made uh but we have a pile of boxes that you could you imagine walking by a grocery store and going wow this is where they keep their stock out in the street well to be fair my storage room is like the size of a i would say a relatively large walk-in closet and when i stick stuff in there i immediately uh, pretty much just take it right back out which i do hope we get like a doorway or something that connects the store to the storage room. Like, I feel like that would be a, a lovely thing to have. But yeah, I'm gonna hold off on opening up immediately. I need to get some stuff organized here, obviously. It's in a little bit of disarray at the moment. Uh, I'm not gonna be able to have all my products stacked up like I normally do, too, because of the lack of shelf space. Like, we are going to run out pretty quick here. Okay, is this the new water? Oh, it is. It's got a blue label on it. Oh, that's weird. Okay, so I need to do this a certain way. I got, I got to take some of this stock actually out. Uh, I got to find the right box that matches. Actually, we could do this. Uh, I'm going to stick these right here. I don't know what makes this water any different. It doesn't even look like sparkling water. Like, it literally looks like the exact same water. But you know what? It's going to probably be an in-demand item, so... Let me just reorganize where I'm sticking all this other water. And that should be good. All right, I can fit it down here now. So let me stick it below this. Uh, maybe this is like water from like a mountain somewhere. All right, so this one's 282. So this one's a little bit more expensive. Let's go 330 on this one. 
Uh, there we go. I think that's fair. Okay, finally starting to stick some stuff down in the storeroom that I know I'm not going to need for a while. I'm going to stick a couple more things out here. Most of my trip hazards are actually gone. Almost got the full thing stocked. There is some empty shelves. I got a couple more items I need to order, but I need to make a little bit of money. Some cleaning items over there. Uh, I got some pasta and I think maybe one of the flowers. I want to order another one. But it's good enough to open up and I could start throwing this stuff and using my <laughs> storage room that's going to totally be empty uh, here relatively shortly. So should we try to buy the last remaining product license? Like, I kind of feel like I want to. Uh, by the way, can I fit any more steaks on the shelf? Uh, I don't. Oh, yeah, I can. Nice. Uh, I gotta make sure plenty of steak. Everybody loves steak. You think they're ever gonna add like a mechanic for your storeroom or like your product? Say like the stuff that can expire. Uh, it can actually go bad if you don't stick it in like a uh, freezer or a fridge in the back. I kind of feel like that would be immersive. Uh, maybe a little bit overwhelming. Maybe when we get stalkers, that'd be a, a cool thing to add. Uh, but maybe right now that's probably not a great idea. Uh, I have a hard enough time. And like I said, door. Uh, maybe that upgrade that happened and then they had to revert the update, maybe it did have a door leading to the store. But look at this. This is a nice looking little store. I mean, there's there's just some <laughs> glaring issues when you look at, you know, stock that's just piled up in the floors. But for the most part, I would definitely shop here. And there is a wide variety of stuff. I mean, come on. We got a little bit of everything here and we're only expanding. Uh, that is the question, though. Do we expand next? Or do we buy the last license? I, I kind of feel like maybe we should expand. Because uh, we're not going to have anywhere to put all the new stuff. Once you think about it. Okay, I'm going to leave these in here. Because these are like on edge of needing to be stocked again. Uh, let's check over here. i got a couple more empty boxes. And I think there's a little bit more cleaner left. But I mean. This is a, it's a good start. I guess we'll just stick one of these up here. It's fine. Wait, you were saying the shampoo's too expensive? What's, what's the average here? Did I not keep up? Oh, I did not keep up with that. I've actually been pretty good. I don't always do it on camera. Uh, I keep up with the, the changing market prices because every morning you'll get like, hey, this thing's more expensive or this thing doesn't cost as much. So you have to try to be competitive because you'll get people that walk away. There are people, though, that will pay prices that are pretty ridiculous. Like, I don't, I haven't tried the whole let me try to scam people here thing yet and set the prices super high. I don't know if you can get away with it. Like, say the big sushi back here. Can I set this to, like, $70? Would people actually eventually buy it? Like, I know a lot of people are going to be like, no, I'm not going to buy this. But, I mean, there's going to be somebody that's going to be like, wow, I really want that sushi right now. Uh, let me go ahead and buy that. But yeah, this is nice. We also need customization. I need to be able to put not a scam supermarket on top of this. It feels a little, little empty. By the way, I don't think I've actually, like, how far can you walk in here? Wait. You know, I honestly thought maybe you could walk 20 or 30 feet away. Wait, why can I go? Hold on. Hold on. You guys don't think there's plans for something outside of the supermarket. Like, there's a lot here. Hey, there's a fellow competitor. Can we light their place on fire? Yeah, there's a lot done here. This is a fairly big neighborhood, and there's people walking around the whole thing. Why do I feel like the dev might have other options? Like, I mean, maybe other store types or something? Like, I feel like the formula for how this game works would work with several different store types. Even, like, say, like, a game store or something. That would be so cool if you could buy, like, a store or another building in the neighborhood and open up something else once you kind of master your supermarket. I mean, I don't know if it would still be called Supermarket Simulator anymore. It'd be, like, yeah, every game simulator uh, store thing uh, 2024. Uh, because I, a lot of people love to put the... Uh, the year in their title and I haven't quite figured that one out yet it's like it's not every year that you're gonna have like this obscure like simulator game like could you imagine supermarket simulator 2024 but then it's like a yearly repeat like I, I feel like that probably wouldn't be a good thing it's like man what is up with the new supermarket simulator 2025 what do you think it's gonna have in there more products uh, I don't know all right so cereals are stocked I got some empty spots here we're making money we're making really good money uh, this is honestly amazing. I can pay back them loans pretty quick, too, with how we're doing. Uh, so I'm going to let this... Uh, I'm going to let it kind of do its thing here. Let's see. I do need a couple things. Let's see. That's the rice. Let's get some more of those elbows. Uh, I can't help but feel like I'm missing a sugar. I got salt on the back side here, don't I? Yeah, I got some spots here. Let me, let me try to cram some more product here now that we have money. And I got time here. Uh, the store doesn't close for another, like, four hours in-game. So, I got a couple things I think I need to order. 
Uh, here we go once again, the great trying to keep potatoes on your wall. Like, I feel like I'm going to have to have a potato wall like I have a toilet paper wall. <laughs> this product is impossible to keep in stock. You know the bad thing is? You don't get a lot off the potatoes either. They're not worth a ton. Like, I'm charging $5 per bag. So, essentially, like, it's $10 per shelf that it takes up. Which, the profit margins aren't great on that once you think about it. Like, not great at all. By the way, these huge, like, sushi platters, they're flying off the shelf. Like, people are... I, they, I had these, like, almost full. There were some here that were taken off. I think that's why we're making so much money. Like, this new meat section, everything is just really, really expensive. Uh, definitely worth investing in this product license. Like, sometimes you're like, eh, do I really need some of these products? They're probably not worth a lot. Uh, definitely, if you guys are playing, go for the meat one. I think we should stick pasta down here. It just looks bad because it's an empty shelf. But yeah, the, the meat license, like, that's a, there's a lot of great stuff in there. Okay, we're going to end the day with about 1,800. Just a couple more things I need to add to my order list. Chocolate being one of them. I got some more. I wish I had more cleaners available. Uh, maybe there'll be a license for that. I still have some empty, even fridge space right now. Still kind of organizing the drinks on the end. Uh, I had a couple, like, missteps where I should have, like, stocked something in, a, like, a certain area. Uh, but we're slowly turning that over. But let's end the day with $2,000. Uh, my goodness, what is, how much is the new expansion, actually? Alright, so I can only do one more, my goodness, it gets so expensive, it is $11,000, but the game is scaled, like, I feel like we're past, like, the super grindy stage of, oh my goodness, everything is so expensive right now, that we're making quite a bit, can I fit more shelves in here? I'm trying to figure out if I've got this optimized good enough. Like, I really wish I had one more set of, like, shelves. What do you guys think? Uh, any opinions? Like, I could move these, which, by the way, one of these is off slightly. Oh, that is... B okay. Now that I notice this, like, each shelf goes up about an inch or out. But I do think I can move this shelf over. Do we think we can fit another single shelf through here or another double like this? I, you know, I think it's possible. Hold on. Uh, how tight can these aisles be? Like, obviously, I like it because it looks roomy right now but i mean you gotta utilize the space that you have since that space is eleven thousand freaking dollars i kind of feel like maybe we should keep the aisles tight hold on we're gonna get a look at this that's not bad right that, that's not a hugely or it's not like super tight okay let's set these up behind it i might be ordering some shelves here in a second uh my supermarket once again is gonna look kind of empty but you got to think for the future. Like, we're, we're planning here. We're trying to add a whole other shelf. Uh, that way I can get even more products on here and get another product license. Hmm, do I think I can get away with it? Are you back as far as you can get, Bob? Oh, I'm going to see if I can move Bob even further back. Uh, it's kind of in his own little cubby here, but, you know, he'll be fine. What about this one? Can I move this one slightly back? Uh, yeah, that looks pretty good, huh? I need to move it over. I don't know. I, I think we can actually fit another shelf in here. I think that's something we're going to have to do tomorrow. Like, we can have a whole other aisle. It's going to be tight, but it'll make it to where I can expand product license one more time. And then I can also uh, stock up and maybe stock or overstock certain items that I've been wanting to do. I think it would take, what, six shelves to do this? So six of these, that's $1,200. That's a lot of my money, but this is fine right okay add those okay so how would this work can i stick oh yeah that's gonna work right i uh, i do wish there was kind of a grid i like the free placement but i also think a grid would be nice is that too tight that's not too tight no i mean i've seen tighter shelves in a supermarket and it, it we'll be able to space them out more later on i am worried about this other side hold on let's stick one of these out here is there enough room to walk in here? I mean, I, I kind of think there is. It's let me place it. So I, I'm assuming that's like not going to be in like the way of a the AI pathing or anything. Uh, to be fair, they don't even interact with the boxes. So I'm, I'm assuming they would just kind of go through stuff if they had to. Oh, yeah. No, this is going to work. We got a whole nother aisle in here. Oh, yeah. You can't tell me we can't stack a ton more product up here now. Look at that. All right. Well, let's get... I'm going to go ahead and open, and then uh, I'm going to get stocking on some of the new items. Uh, maybe we'll swap some things. Like, I think maybe the back side here is just going to be like a potato uh, shelf, which I think is perfectly fine. My goodness, having all this extra space is doing wonders for the store. Like, I, I feel like we're finally, like... We're getting a hold of the stock here, and we're getting a abundance of stock. So it's going to be uh, super hard here in the future to actually run out of things. Uh, you're going to have to like really just be gone away from the store for a long time uh, for some of these products to deplete. 
Uh, I'm having fun. Uh, it, it's such a addicting game. Like, I cannot emphasize that. Like, you know, simulators, a lot of times, they'll kind of grow, like, old really quick for me. Uh, but not this one. Like, it's something simple about just, you know, stocking your shelves, making sure all the products there, watching the money just roll in. Uh, it does wonders for my soul here. So, yeah, I, I definitely need to get that product license. I think I'm actually going to save up for it now. I'm not going to worry about, like, fully stocking everything yet until I figure out, like, what are those products? That's a good question. Uh, what am I going to have to look forward to here? So, it's going to be... It's a mix of everything. There's hot sauce and ketchup, mayonnaise, which I'm pretty sure all those are going to be on the shelves. You do have another style of pizza, which I have actual pizza freezers. And then you're going to get a little bit more for the normal fridge. So, $2,800. We definitely need to work towards that. Uh, two days. So yeah, I, I don't know if I've showed you guys this. These are all my pizza fridges. I keep them stocked. They sell. Like, they sell really good. Like, I watch people, they'll come piling up with pizzas. I'm like, yeah, buddy. Uh, those are my kind of people. You, just, you don't feel like cooking, you just throw a frozen pizza uh, in the oven. It's fine. By the way, it looks like the cashier's the line. It's not overly crowded, so I, I think we're actually okay there. I was worried that they were a little too close to each other, but like I said, the AI doesn't care. They're not complaining about crowding or anything. Uh, oh man, uh, I'm trying to think of what we can do here. But I got to wait. We're almost there to the product license, so we're definitely gonna want to do that. Let's get some more of these boxes just out of the way. Uh, might struggle with stock for just a little bit, but it's only gonna get better. Like we're gonna be 100% fine here. Uh, here, as soon as I can level this out and get some more product. All right, we're gonna go ahead and do it. Product license ready to go. Boom, we have purchased it. Uh, gonna have, I'm gonna have to let the uh, the rest of the people check out. I need to make sure I can pay all my bills at, at the end of the day and rent and all that other good stuff. Uh, but we'll take a look at those products in the morning. Okay, bills are paid. Let's quickly look. I know I need olive oil. Let me go and order that. But what about those new products? I mean, this basically the whole episodes have been about new products, adding stuff. Uh, to our store here. Uh, so let's go down. Where is it? Okay, so here we go. We got ice cream chocolate. All right, so we have another thing for freezers. Uh, that's pretty cool. Oh, the crab sticks are for freezers too. Okay, nice. Uh, I can only order a little bit of this. Uh, let's get a couple hot sauce, a couple mayonnaise, and we got to have some ketchup here. Get one of those. Uh, I can't order the pizza yet. Let's just look at some of these real quick. Oh, yeah, a lot of these are just nice, small uh, little boxes here. Was that hot sauce? It looks like it's a ketchup thing. So I'm assuming we would need like a condiment section over here. Maybe we'll stick it on this side so you have your ketchups. Uh, I'm assuming we'll have mustard. Yeah, we got mayonnaise uh, and your hot sauce. I don't think, do we have mustard unlocked? I don't think that was one of the things. So yeah, we got ketchup over here. And don't worry, we're going to set the prices of this stuff right now because I know I screwed up last time. Uh, 308, so let's try 350 on that. And then this one, let's try 450 on the hot sauce. There we go. I'm not going to lie, this mayonnaise is kind of a weird color, is it not? I thought mayonnaise was a little more white. This is also really expensive, $10. My goodness, is this magic mayonnaise? Like, what? <laughs> what's in this stuff? Uh, I don't think I've ever seen mayonnaise for $10, but you know what? <laughs> it's good. We're, we're going to go with it. Ooh, do I have a place for my ice cream? Uh, now I need an ice cream freezer. My goodness. It's okay. It's going to be sitting right by the chicken over there. <laughs> it's a match made in heaven, isn't it? Uh, let's see. How much is the ice cream? That is $4.99, so let's go, let's go 6 bucks on that. I think that's fair. And we have crab sticks, which I don't really have a place for these either. Uh, I got to do a little more organizing. Uh, well, actually, no, I do have some over here. Here we go. Crab sticks. We'll stick these out over here right by the uh, french fries. Oh, you could really stack these bad boys. That's nice. How much are these? Ooh. All right. These are close to 10 bucks. I'm going to go 11.50 on these. I feel like that's fairly fair. So, yeah, got some new products in here. We've done a lot this episode. Uh, we filled out the store even more. I didn't think that we can make it uh, any more full looking, but I think that extra aisle really does uh matter like i said i'll probably grind a little bit off camera try to get us closer to level 30 that way next episode third cashier more expansions more products and we'll see you guys next time in supermarket simulator